Hey guys, it's Eric with the Middle Park Minute, where we're throwing strikes and getting likes, hitting dingers and getting listeners back again with another episode. This is your only daily Brewers podcast. We are on YouTube, Spotify, Google, Amazon, iHeartRadio, CastBox, Pocket Cast, Radio Public, Apple Podcasts, Rumble, and Twitter. So you can check us out seven days a week. Uh, upload time is 5.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, if you want to join us on Facebook, you can go over to Facebook, the Miller Park Minute, and the Milwaukee Brewers. Um, we're also on Twitter at Miller Minute and Instagram at the Miller Park Minute. Uh, this show is sponsored by SeatGeek, so you can go to SeatGeek.com. You can look at all the tickets they have available for basically everything. Put in the code Miller Park Minute, save $20 off your first order. Uh, and if you want to reach out with any additional support, you can go over to patreon.com, patreon.com slash Miller Park Minute to support us on Patreon. All right, that being said, let's get into today's episode. Um, another another bad performance. Lack of hitting. That is the primary story of today's. We're still in first in the NL Central. Um Put up a zero today, five to nothing against the Giants. Uh, but, but, to, to, much surprise, most of the runs did not come from our new spot start. So we actually got a guy in Julio Tehran who came in and was the good of today's game yes the good the bad the downright ugly as we talk about it every day uh julio Tehran came in was five inning pitch only a lot of four hits one earned run and five strikeouts not too bad huh not too bad for a guy that just came in just signed with us two days ago hasn't played the majors since 2021, that's pretty solid. Pretty solid stuff. So the bad, obviously, um, we could not string together enough hits to get a run across the board. Then we, the downright ugly goes to the four earned runs given up by Tyson Miller. Bad outing. He did two innings and kind of blew it up there in the eighth inning. So uh, it was a one one run game, and we still couldn't find a way to score runs. Uh, sometimes we have these really solid pitching performance. Burns has had them. Colin Ray has had them. Uh, many guys have had them, and we just didn't put up any runs for them. So um, yeah, sometimes that's just how it is. But across the board, I mean, we didn't have anybody have a big day for the offense either. Um, You know, nobody had a multi-hit game. Uh, Turing did get hit in the hand, and it got called a uh, got called a foul off the end of the bat. It's pretty obvious on replay, but the umpires didn't see it that way when challenged. You get the, the, a lot of bad breaks with these umpires some days, and strike zone was not being called our way. Uh, but again, those are all things that, uh, you know, I'm sorry, but at the end of the day, that's that's not why, how we lost the game. We lost the game by lack of hitting uh, four hits, you know. Just not a good day. Not a good day. Uh, it was a good start for Tyron, Tyron though. For, I think that's I'm saying that right. Tyron, Tyron. Um, yeah, we're still in first place though, so that's what matters in the end, I guess. Flush it and move on to the next, guys. Move on to the next. Uh, so let's talk about the big news of the day, real quick. Um, I think this is an overhyped situation. I'm gonna say that right out, right out of the gate. Um, there's a lot of attention being put to this right now just because of what happened in Oakland. I really think they're making something out of nothing here. Uh, And I think this has a lot to do with the 
the state legislator going back and forth on just outright giving the Milwaukee Brewers some money. And so we're going to talk about this for a minute. So um, basically the story put out yesterday evening was, and I kind of blew by it because I was going to wait until to see, you know, how this thing, whole, the whole thing kind of blew over. Um, sometimes I do that with stories. I just, I don't want to blow it up because I don't feel certain things need too much attention. Um, I don't think there's a chance of the Brewers leaving here. I don't think that's even a card on the table. What I think this is, is them simply, Rob Manford came in to throw his influence into the ring when it comes to, to you know, working with the government here. Uh, they're saying basically that American Family Field, Miller Park, is in need of much repair. Uh, it's going to need, um, one of the sources cited, it's going to need a new scoreboard at 4.65 million. 4.65 million, I believe, is what they said. Um, that was journalsentinel.com. So, um, but basically, Manfred came in today and made an appearance at Miller Park, took some questions to, from the reporters. Um, Basically, here's his comment. So this this ballpark is an asset, Manfred said. The Brewers are interested in a long-term relationship and an extension with, of the lease that keeps them here. Major League Baseball provides a great economic activity in all of its markets, especially a market where you draw like this market does. So it's just an expense item. It's investment in keeping Milwaukee a major league city. Uh, basically, they they go into that the stadium is owned and operated by the Southeast Wisconsin Professional Baseball Park District, a state-created agency that effectively is the brewer's landlord. The district is responsible for maintaining the facility and is obligated per lease to keep American Family Field up to Evolving standards of MLB ballparks. Now, a lot of lot of um, press and a lot of this stuff basically said that they are not up to what other modern stadiums are these days. Um, last time I was to Wrigley Field, it wasn't up to standard. It wasn't shiny, brand new, high tech. Um, so I, I struggle with this one a lot. I mean. When you've got fields that are as old as Fenway Park and Wrigley Field, how are we not up to standard? Seems a little off to me. So I think that's just a little bit of hype for the story. Um, I think they're putting undue stress in this just because of what happened in Oakland. Um, but Oakland literally was falling apart. Seats are breaking. I mean, we've seen tons of videos on the internet about that. So uh, currently this runs through 2030, followed by a series of five two-year club options through 2040. This spring, uh, discussions about the future funding took on added urgency when Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers proposed $290 million in the next state budget for Stadium District as part of a plan that would require the Brewers to extend the base of the term of the lease to 2043. With the Brewers agreeing to their own additional spending to fund discretionary projects. Uh, Republican legislators voiced opposition to Evers' initial budget since the state and local officials and the Brewers have been discussing alternatives. So basically what it came down to is he was just giving the money willy-nilly. Um, legit, there was like no payback, no no... You know, we're basically the 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 advantage of Wisconsin keeping the Brewers was the jobs and what it provides. Um, and yeah, but there should be some kind of give and take in a deal like that. You can't just gift two hundred ninety million dollars. That seems a little excessive to me, especially when a lot of ownership groups and a lot of groups do their own. You know, fund their own stadium and stuff like that. It's I don't know that that gets a little messy 
that gets a little messy in my eyes. It's not about Republican, Democrat, or anything like that. What it comes down to is um, making smart moves with your money. And uh, I think if you've driven around the city of Milwaukee or any city in the state of Wisconsin or even on a highway in the state of Wisconsin, you could say that they could put that money into the roads. It would probably do a lot better for our state. Might not pay itself back, but it doesn't sound like they're, it sounds like they're just essentially gifting it to the brewers from everything I read about that $290 million. And it's not to be used on players or talent. We've talked about this before. It's strictly $290 million to improve this stadium district. Actually, there's a pothole on one of the roads that leads into Miller Park that they could fix. Um, they probably need like $400 to fix that pothole. So I'll, I'll kind of check out my personal budget for that one. I don't care. <laughs> but I think, I, think, I think the importance here and what we're talking about is finding a way to keep the brewers. I don't think we're going to lose the brewers. I don't think that's a matter of the issue. I think what it comes down to is putting this putting this together and making it work. Should the brewers be spending their own money? You bet their ass they should be. You bet your ass they should be spending their own money. Most teams fund their own ballparks and fix their own ballparks on their own. Personally, I think there, there might be a shade of greed that we don't know about. And this comes, unfortunately, full, full circle to that conversation I had about owners and and the small market clubs getting money that i think even the butcher and i discussed this they get money that basically um is from mlb it's kind of to pad the fact that they're not paid as high, high as the big markets uh, it's like a competitive balance tax or competitive balance pay i guess is what it's called um it's been months since i talked about that so don't exactly have all the, the details fresh in my mind, but basically, essentially, what what's what what happens is there's money here that we don't know about, and a lot of the financials of Major League Baseball are straight up hidden. Uh, I don't care what anybody says about it; that they're, they're hiding the financials. These guys are putting more in their pockets than they uh, like to tell us that they are. Um, yes, Forbes and some of these articles put out numbers, but they're all kind of in a way estimations they're not exact figures so i would like to see that put on paper and i'd like to see the financials of why the state needs to give them this money because when you are giving uh, an amount of any amount of money the government likes to make up money unfortunately uh, but when you're giving amount of the state's budget to this this entity they've got to prove something back or provide some kind of payback in some form um, much like that, uh, the additional sales tax, uh, at a certain point that ended and, uh, that basically paid, paid itself back. So s something needs to be put on this to, to pay the state that would give the state some type of benefit as well. Um, and that, that I think is probably what they're looking for on the other side of this this coin here. Um, I'm just trying to spot in the article if they say anything else about what what they expect. There and there was a committee named of private like um, business owners and stuff like that that also want to. Um, basically help keep the Milwaukee Brewers there. Uh, they're basically a group of, inv not necessarily investors, but they're, they're people that have pretty interested, pretty important stakes in it. Okay, so Evers $290 million budget proposal followed two independent studies of the cost of the stadium district to meet its lease obligations for another two decades. The team and the Evers administration settled on $448 million, 
20 year schedule of upkeep renovations that would have been funded by the 290 million for the state's 7 billion budget surplus plus more than 70 million already in the stadium district coffers plus interest accrued on the upfront investment over the years leaders of the wisconsin republican controlled legislature have been working on their proposal An example the district is funded a district funded project came thursday when stadium district members voted five to one to approve 6.5 million for a new center field scoreboard at american family field according to milwaukee journal sentinel the existing video board installed prior to 2010 season is already beyond its 10-year life expectancy so and the, and i wonder a lot of these these items here on the list of things that need to be repaired i wonder if they're rest, relatively necessary i mean i don't think the video board is it's broken in any capacity it means i guess what what is want versus what is need and i think that's something that they have to look at and they have to really assess what they're going to do um and maybe fork a little bit of money out of their own budget i mean i know it's all about sponsorship and deals and and what the what the government's going to do for them and stuff like that too but i don't see this as, as necessarily a bad thing i mean i don't think i think I think we're gonna, we're gonna see this be brushed under the rug when this deal wraps up soon. I mean, they technically have another three, four, five years before they actually need to make officially officially make a deal. We just have a surplus right now, and that's what they're trying to spend essentially. Um, and I don't blame them. I don't blame them one bit. So with Ty. I keep screwing up his name, Tehran. Um, we placed uh, option to cousins today. So, guys, that is really all I got tonight. I, I, I'm not up in a tizzy about this thing yet. Um, I think, I think they'll work it out, and I think it's one of those things that just takes time. You know, let the let the the them go at it. Why do we got to cover every... Oh, we're going to lose them. We're going to lose them. No, we're not. We are not. Vegas has already got their team. Yeah, Nashville wants a team. I get it, but there's a lot more to it than that. This is like a blip on the radar. Plus, Wisconsin's got a surplus. They just got to structure a deal the way that they want to that's going to pay our, gov our Wisconsin state government back or give them some, some kind of benefit. And that was the deal that originally was worked out. They gave them the money for a tax benefit. Um, and once they paid the tax benefit back, then that extra additional tax wore off. So I think that's what, what we're going to look at seeing. I think that the lawmakers are going to want something in return for this. That's what I think it comes down to. At the end of the day, really, I... I <laughs> That's my thoughts. That's my thoughts on it. I, I, I am freaking out. I don't think there's, I don't think there's greed. I don't think there's anything else in this except for they want a better deal for the state. And how? Do you blame them? I mean, let's get. If you're gonna give me two hundred ninety million dollars and I have to do nothing in return except for provide you the product. Yeah. I mean, we'll, we could go back into our conversations about all oh, we haven't gotten anything so far with Burns. Well, well, yeah, you did. You got great baseball out. But let's, I digress. I digress. I won't go too deep and too hard on this until this gets, until I really truly believe this is more of a pressing story than they're making it. Rob Manford was just a show for the politicians. They're just trying to put something together, guys. They're just trying to work it out. So. That is all I have for tonight's episode, guys. Uh, another short one. I apologize. My uh, my birthday was today, so we're uh, just celebrating a little bit and trying to enjoy the day. So you guys have a great rest of your day. We'll catch you in tomorrow's episode. Uh, if you haven't already, go over check BrewerFanatic.com and check out the latest edition of the Brewer Fanatic Short Vids.
guys have a great rest of your night and go through crew.